And one day, while he was out of his house, his father, Ibrahim, came all the way to Mecca. He was an old man, not recognized by his wife, the wife and his, his daughter-in-law. So she, he asked her, how is life to you? And she started complaining that life is difficult, life is this, we don't have enough food, we don't have enough provision, it's a, a place of desert, nobody around us. Hmm. So Ibrahim, after the meeting, said to her, when your husband comes back, greet him and read him the salam from me and tell him, the old man says, change the doorstep change your doorstep so he left and after a while ismail came and he said did anybody visit us because he's also a prophet and a messenger so she said yes an old man with the following description came and he uh, uh, said to greet you and to read you the salam and ordered you to change your doorstep so he said this was my father Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, and he's ordering me to divorce you. Go and reconnect and rejoin your family, for I have divorced you. And then he married another woman, and somewhere down the line, Ibrahim came back again. He visited his new daughter-in-law, asked about how their life was, and she praised Allah and she said, everything is fine. We have, alhamdulillah, so many things, blah, blah, blah. She was grateful. She showed her gratitude. So he said the same to her, greet him, read him the salam and tell him, keep your doorstep. And when Ismail came, said to her that this was my father and he's ordering me to keep you as you are a, a, a good wife. So now in the subcontinent, some parents are using this example, which was mentioned in an authentic hadith, when they order their son to divorce his wife. And they say, we have this right over you as Ibrahim had the right over his son. And we say to them, this is totally true if you were a messenger of Allah. If you were someone as fair and righteous, as knowledgeable as Ibrahim, peace be upon him, then yes, you may have the right to instruct your son to do so. Because if you come to me, dear Einstein, who's using this hadith, and say to me, well, Allah mentioned in the Quran that Ibrahim came to Ismail, the same incident, Ibrahim and his son Ismail, the same two people, but a different scenario. And he said to him, my son, I saw in a vision that I'm slaughtering you. So what do you see? And the son said, oh, Allah, oh, my father, do what you are told and you will find me among the obedient. So Ibrahim set him down and wanted to go and slaughter him. So if my father comes to me and says, my son, I saw in a dream last night that I'm slaughtering you. So you have to obey me like Ismail obeyed his father and allow me to slaughter you. Are you crazy? Would any father expect his son to say to him, yes? Of course not. He'd be insane. He's committing suicide and the father would be a murderer. Not with Ibrahim and Ismail because they are messengers of Allah. This is a revelation. So, Abdullah, those parents who force their children to divorce their wives without any legitimate reason, just because they don't look like how she looks, or just because she's not serving them like a proper mate, which is unfortunately the case in most of these joint families in the subcontinent, they get their son married in order to get a helping hand, to get a maid or a servant to cook for them and to clean and to wash and to serve their daughters. Not only that, 
and also their husbands of the daughters and the children. Achhi, this is unfair. Such parents are oppressors. Allah will punish them in their graves. Allah will punish them in the on the day of judgment for such ill treatment of their daughter in law. And I've asked and I've counseled hundreds of families. And I always ask the mother, would you allow your daughter to be treated this way in her husband's house? She said, no. She said, subhanallah, then you're not a believer. The Prophet said, one of you will not reach the level of Iman until he loves to his brother what he loves for himself. If you love for your daughter-in-law what you love for your own daughter, then you're a believer. But if you don't, well, you have a problem.